Hi guys. Sorry, the cat's trying to get comfortable on my lap, but I'm not comfortable. But if she's comfortable, I guess I have to just stay here like this. Hang on. <laughs> you right now? I want to put my foot up. I'm not allowed to put my foot up. Sit down then. Hi guys, anyone here? Hi Kristen. Hi Cat May. Hi Tonya. What's happening guys? Oh. Why is my TikTok playing on my Facebook? Hi guys. Hi Liana. Hi Desvils. Desvils. I can never say your name. Hi Regan. Hi Tonya. Hi Diamond. Joshy. Hi Dropping Gems. Hi guys. Hi Alison. Olivia. Brienne. I'm great darling. How are you? I really need to wash my hair as you can see. I'm getting very beachy hair walking along the beach every afternoon. It's very windswept where I live. I like walk along this sea spray and wind and I collected shells yesterday. I went along the beach and did my affirmations and collected the flawed shells. I started picking up the really beautiful ones, the perfect ones. And then I thought, why not picking up the broken ones too? So I started picking up only the broken ones. I've got a little bowl of broken shells in there. <laughs> you look great. Oh! Hey, beautiful. Oh, Gina. Oh, you don't want to sit there now. Sorry, I, I didn't make it comfortable enough for you. What's going on, guys? Oh, thank you. Okay, guys, any questions? I can't see a fucking question. I can just see everyone saying hello, <laughs> telling me how nice I look. It's lovely, but have you got any questions? How's Molly? She's right here. Look. Molly, show the people. Oh. There she is. And I have a cat on the other side. Sarah. Wait. She's there. What are you barking at? They're quite happy here, actually. I accidentally just cat left the cat outside. <laughs> Went for a walk with the dog and left the front door open for the cat. And then I was trying to find her and realised she'd come out with us. And I completely didn't realise. Close the door on her. So I have been affirming. I haven't been affirming much the last two days. I don't know if it's detachment or discouragement. Look, guys, sometimes you don't, and then things go to shit. <laughs> sometimes you don't, and everything's fine. Sometimes you don't because you've just got other things on. Don't beat yourself up. Just jump back on the horse when you can. But look, guys, it doesn't have to be this obsessive thing. If you're living in the end and your negative thoughts aren't running you, you don't really have to affirm that much. But the problem with that is that's when the old set point goes back and you go back to the old, you're a piece of shit, you're unchosen, you're unloved, and you don't realise it's happening. And then you've undone all your good work. It happens a lot to people in the group. They get really cocky. They feel like, oh my God, I've got this. They stop affirming. And then something triggers them in the 3D and they go back to their old way of thinking because it's just natural for them. And they don't realize they're doing it until it's been done and then they've undone all their work. That's why I say, guys, it's just new thinking. I don't want you to see this as a job. The more you see this as a task or a chore, the more it will be. But I don't want you also to think, oh my God, I didn't affirm, so my life's going to go to shit. Don't think that. You make the rules, okay? Loz, I finally got my I love you message from SP. Keep going, everyone. <gasps> Claire Jane did you, darling. Oh, he sent you an I love you message. Oh, that's beautiful, darling. Oh, wonderful. That's beautiful. It worked. My manifestation worked. Thank you, Loz. What happened? Adriana, tell us. What did you do, Claire? Did you script that? Were you affirming that he'd say that or she'd say that? What happened? Tell us. I've been manifesting two SPs. Is that weird? I've done it before. Don't worry about it. Now. How to stop intrusive bad thoughts. Anxiety is making it worse. I affirm against, but it's hard. Look, guys, some of us have anxious thoughts. Some of us naturally revert to anxiety because that's the way we've always been. It's just the way your brain has protected you for so long. Don't beat yourself up for it, darling. Just be like, oh, that's the old me. Yeah, I used to be anxious before, didn't I? That's just my subconscious trying to protect me from hurt. It's all right, brain. I'm fine. Start talking to your brain, guys. Start talking to, start talking to your subconscious like, look, I know you're just trying to help me, but this isn't helping me anymore. You're not serving me. What's the purpose of this? Start doing shit like that and then just start saying, I control the feelings I feel. You don't run me. I run me. Brain, you're not running me. I'm running me. I'm in control here. And start using affirmations for anti-anxiety like that, darling. I'm going harder now that I feel better. Oh, good. Um, to live in the 3D, aren't we just living... To live in the 3D, aren't we just living only in imagination? 
I feel like manifesting is just living in our head. It's confusing not to focus on the 3D since we live in the 3D. Aren't we just living only in imagination? Look, manifesting is living in your head. Yes, it's trying to imagine what you want as much as possible. But you have to live in the 3D, obviously. As Neville calls it, you have to pay Caesar. Okay, you have to go to work and you have to earn money and you have to get it, you know, have a roof over your head and pay for the shelter and pay for food and do Caesar things, right? Meaning pay the man, you know, like do life. There are necessities of life and you're living life. What you can do whilst living in the 3D is understand that all the 3D is a reflection of you and therefore what you're thinking in your mind is more important, right? You don't not live in the 3D, you just don't react to it when it flares up in your face because all it is is a, re is a reflection of your old thinking. But you do have to live there, otherwise how do you live? You can't sit all day oh, living in your imagination like a nutbag. I mean, people who do that, do they get anything done in life? I don't know. Um, does that make sense to me? I'm going hard and I saw the one look great. Um, I, uh, I feel so much better today, back on the horse, feeling at peace and calm. Wonderful, Pamela, wonderful. I had a date last night, first in three months. Oh, Rob, I saw your photo with all the women. That self-concept is definitely on point, darling. Love it. That SP is going to be so jelly. She won't know what hit her. <laughs> She'll be like, what's happening to him? He's in demand. <laughs> had to go, darling. You're glowing was Oh, thanks, guys. Must be this light from this window. Uh, someone removed me and went to check to see who it was. I could remove them back. It was old SP. Oh, well, darling, look, don't be thrown by it. Just be like, they can't bear to see me. Looking at my face makes them upset. Every time they see my updates on socials, they cry. Give it that meaning if they've done things like that. I had a dream about my ex having a girlfriend and he texted me, I never remember my dreams. What do you think it means? Darling, it only means what you think it means. If you give that bad meaning like he's got a third party, well, then... He will have one eventually. Stop thinking that. I started talking to my subconscious each time I have an opposite thought and it's working. Yeah, tell it off, guys. Tell your brain to thank you. You're not helping me anymore or fuck off. How often should I be affirming? I usually do whenever I have limiting beliefs, but otherwise I don't. Well, are your manifestations here yet? How bad do you want it, Joan? Guys, so many of you ask me, how often should I do this? Is it here yet? How prevalent is your old thinking? Okay, do it whenever you have opposing thoughts. That's great. But if your opposing thoughts are happening a lot, you should be affirming a lot. Mm -hmm. I got angry but burned in my head. What's this sun, moon, divine? What's this? Oh, my God. Read my comment from earlier, please. I'm lost. Um, well, first of all, change your username, darling. I don't want to exist 223. That's depressing. Why are you bothering manifesting then? Don't understand. Um, isn't that a limited belief? What are we, where's your question? I'm going all the way up, but you're in desperate needy energy, hence your username. I can tell from just your desperation saying, what do I do? Please answer my question. Uh, which ain't going to help you. Please do it again, darling. I can't see the question. Um, I can't actually see it here. I'm scrolling up. What do I do is all I can see. Where's the rest of it? Write it again, darling. And try, when you're writing it, to quell your desperate needy energy with which you are writing these questions. Because something's going on here. And your username isn't helping. Um, Toiler, what do I do if it feels like it's taking a long time to manifest? You wait, you be patient, you stop being a needy bitch, you realise it takes time, you chill out. I will tell you guys. Oh, no, it's taking too long. Yes. Yes, it does sometimes. And? What do you want me to do about it? Are you affirming a lot? Are you visualising every night? Are you listening to sleep affirmations at night? Are you listening to the tapes during the day? Are you doing it a lot or are you just waiting for magic? I don't want to exist, la, la, la. Put your question in. My ex and I got in an argument. Third party is involved. What do I do? Well, you don't freak out. You go back and you revise the scene. Okay, if you've got an argument, okay, and a third party is involved, okay, 
then you probably had fearful thoughts during your relationship with your ex, I'm assuming you're not together anymore, that a third party would come along or they didn't love you or you weren't good enough for them or you had them up on a pedestal, one of those three, four. Okay, and now that you've broken up, a third party's come along and now you're shitty even though you actually don't realize that you had fearful thoughts and low self-concept thoughts about yourself during the relationship that's now caused this girl to come along. You need to understand, guys, you manifest third parties every fucking time with feeling not chosen and unloved. Did you ever feel unchosen by him or unloved? That's why. There's no point yelling at him and having an argument with him when you are technically exes. He's allowed to have a third party. What are you screaming at him for, having an argument with him about, an ex, a new person for? It's none of your fucking business if they're an ex. Okay? You've got to think of it that way. So you just end up looking like a needy nutbag. And they're like, we've broken up. Why are you even talking about another party so I'm allowed to have a new girlfriend if I want and you'll be like but 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 uh and then they're just like oh fuck you're a nutbag why did I this is why I broke up with you in the first place but you've got to understand guys that if you're reacting to the third party and thinking about the third party you created that third party darling what were you thinking during the relationship and let me give you the tip change that fucking username stat because just reading your username I can tell that you get yourself in in emotional quandaries Okay, things happen and I'm panicked. Do you do that? Do you get really anxious and panicked about stuff and freak out often? That's because you're not in control of your emotions. And if you're then starting arguments with your ex, you're not in control of your emotions. You've got to get a handle on your emotions, darling. And your emotions are being caused by your thoughts. And your thoughts probably are things like, oh my God, he's going to end up with her. They're going to end up in a full-blown relationship. I need to stop this. I need to stop it now. Oh, my God, I don't want them to end up together. I don't want him falling in love with her. Holy shit, I'm going to lose him. Oh, my God, what do I do? What do I do? Which is why you're writing, what do I do? We just had an argument. Help. Your self-concept is clearly not on point, darling, and you're in a state of panic. You need to really go, like, do some EFT tapping or a guided meditation, or do some breath work, or do something to calm yourself, first of all, to realize that an argument is just an argument, and it doesn't mean anything unless you give it meaning. If you give it the meaning that you've had an argument, you've fucked everything, then you've fucked. Just say, I'm allowed to act like a needy nutbag, and he doesn't care. Start saying that. If you've acted needy, you start an argument, whatever. Then start seeing you and your SP together, and then start assessing what shitty thoughts you had during the relationship that's literally caused your ex to find someone else. I'm not lovable. He doesn't want me. He doesn't love me as much as I love him. He's probably looking at other girls, etc. And that's why she's come along. Do not focus on that girlfriend. Try and calm yourself. See you and your SP together. Stop calling them your ex for a start. And then go back if you can and revise that argument. Watch my videos on revision. That means going back to the scene and not saying what you said, not hearing what he said that was bad. Change it to what you wish was said and loop that over and over until it feels natural. And stop freaking out because the freaking out is not helping you. And please, for the love of God, change your shitty username that's just telling me your self-concept's literally in the fucking toilet. Is it okay to feel stressed? And please, go to the Facebook group and watch all my lives, darling, if you're lost as hell. Go to number 25, number 41, number 67, and number 77. Watch 25 first because you're not understanding how you did this. And watch anything about third parties. Put third party in the search box. Can you tell me more about Bridge of Incidents? It's literally sometimes things that look like shit. Oh my God, why is this bad thing happening? And then you don't realize why until later. Pretty much. It will lead you across a bridge. You don't know why you're doing it. It doesn't necessarily look like shit, but sometimes it can. It's like you're getting fired or a third party comes along. And the third party could simply be a person who reminds your SP that you're the most fucking amazing girl they've ever met and no one compares to you. And it helps you. 25, 41, 67, 77. Yes, please go watch those lives, guys, if you're lost about getting your SP back. I beg you. The link is in my bio, Subconscious Loss. Do your family and friends also consciously manifest? Some of my friends, but not my family, no. Um, instead of revision, can we just use the remember when method? Yes, I remember when we had that fight. God, I remember when it was so awful between us and we weren't even talking and now look at us, we're so in love. You can use I remember when, absolutely. It's a form of revision, yes. Is that why my car got wrecked, Bridge of Incidents? Yes, because you can get a new car. Could be that. Mm -hmm. With the third party, 3D especially, we are in a relationship. What? With the th 3D especially, we are already in a relationship. Yes, think that, darling. Will everyone experience Bridge of Incidents? Not necessarily, guys. Absolutely not. It's like not everyone experiences birds for land. 
I love affirming that only good things happen to me, even if it doesn't seem like it in the 3D. That's wonderful, Amber. Love that. I manifest and totally living in the end, and it makes me so happy and relaxes. However, I'm not sure how to deal with the 3D, especially we are already in a relationship. Oh, okay. So if you're already, that's what your question was. Okay. If you're already in a relationship, darling, what you need to do is when they're in your presence, don't react to them because it's the old version of them turning up that you're reacting to. You're reacting to your triggers that you haven't fixed yet. Okay, so I want you to mute yourself, take yourself to the toilet, say, oh, just give me a minute. If you're starting an argument, you want to say something, mute yourself. Affirm while they're there. Affirm in your head. Affirm while you're lying in bed and they're asleep. Affirm in your mind. Tell them what you want them to do before they turn up, how you want them to act. He's going to do this for me today. He's going to be like this with me today. He's going to be so affectionate and loving. He's like this now. And don't react to the old version as he's showing up. Okay? Can I manifest for my son and I to reconcile? Absolutely, Shelley. Imagine what that would look like. Imagine him writing you a text or a letter or turning up at your door and telling you what you want to hear. Imagine ringing a friend and describing to them what happened. See you and them as totally and utterly reconciled. Everything is forgotten and forgiven. You've both forgiven each other. We love each other so much. He can't be without me. Say all those affirmations. Loz, I sat down today for 20 minutes and got to the root of my self-concept problem. Did you, darling? I really need to do that. I'm going to do that. Hi, Deborah. Oh, thanks for the rose, darling. They keep telling me to move on, etc. Who? Darling, I, my friends and family try to change my thoughts and look at me weird. What the fuck are you talking to them about? Guys, if you're trying to manifest your ex back, please, for the love of God, don't talk to your family and friends because all they'll do is people did this to me on my um, birthday. Someone got my ear about stuff in the 3D and I just felt like punching her in the fucking face. But all she was doing was reflecting my shitty thinking I'd had recently. All they're doing is reflecting your thinking, darling. I don't know why you're not getting this. You're lost as hell. Please go to the Facebook group and understand that every single person, including your ex, is reflecting your shitty thinking. Your friends, your family, your ex. Go and work on your self-concept because you're not understanding any of this and you won't be able to get them back the way you're thinking at the moment. And please, the love of God, change your username. I'm sick of looking at it. Do you recommend dating while affirming for your SP? I don't recommend it. I don't know why you'd want to do it if you're madly in love with someone else. But... If you want to, go ahead. If it builds up your self-concept, go ahead. Sometimes I scream into a pillow and let out the rage, love myself, but I affirm the whole time. That's, look, guys, let out the rage. Let it out. It's the best idea. Do it. Laugh my ass off. I'll change my username. Honestly, darling, it's fucking depressing just looking at it. Would he still receive my thoughts even if we don't see each other or talk as much? They always receive your thoughts, guys. It's called thought transmission. It's telepathy. Everyone receives your thoughts. People receive my thoughts on these lives and say words that I've said in affirmations since November. I didn't even plan to have a TikTok back then and people are repeating my affirmations back to me. Now, how are perfect strangers on the internet repeating words that I said in November in affirmations? Thought transmission. I sent it out. I sent it out and everyone's hearing it. How can I manifest SP to propose to me? Imagine you're married already, darling. You don't even need the proposal seen in your mind. You just need to think you're married already. It's like wanting to have a baby. Imagine the child. Don't imagine the pregnancy. Okay, go to the end. Complete end. I have been affirming, glowing, youthful skin. Three people told me how beautiful my skin looks today. Oh, Alison, I love it. Well, that's one of my affirmations. And someone's already said it to me today on the live. Glowing. That I have glowing skin, right? People say it all the time. Oh, Bobby, body by daddy. How are you, darling? Thank you for the fire. No contact can be a bridge of incidents. Yes, guys, look, if you're in no contact, fine, but don't go no contact. That's completely different. Loz, how should I affirm for my SP to not move away? Just say they love living here, they love being here with me, they can't possibly imagine themselves living anywhere else but here. Let out the rage while rampaging. It feels great. Yes, guys, please do. Oh, thank you, Aim and Manifest Talk, darling. Your account's lovely. Um, I've been affirming, oh, I saw that one. How does it work if I'm manifesting someone and they're manifesting me to go away? No, darling, no, no, no. Guys, please get this in your head. I know it's really hard to get your head around quantum physics. Everyone's in their own reality. There are quantum realities. Everyone's in their own separate one. Whatever the fuck they're doing over there, I don't care if they've got a voodoo doll and they're sticking fucking needles in you. It has no relevancy to you whatsoever, what they're doing in their reality. Only what you're doing in your reality regarding you and others is relevant. They can't do anything to you. So please get that out of your head. The only reason why voodoo dolls work is people believe in them. Okay? Just as an example. Um, like a voodoo doll to me would be funny, but if I was in some African tribe and that was part of our belief, 
then if I saw someone sticking a voodoo needle in, in a voodoo doll of me, I would believe, oh my God, that's affecting me because I believe it. To me, it would be funny. Um, I'm affirming that we're more than friends, but he is saying otherwise. Should I just not react? Just don't react, darling, but you're friend zoning yourself. You don't feel good enough in yourself. You don't feel like he loves you. You feel you love him more than he loves you. You put him on a pedestal. You're seeing him as better than you. Something's going on there where you're friend zoning yourself, guys. It happens every time. You think it's their choice that they're making, that they're friend zoning you. It never is. It's never their choice. You've got to understand all they're doing is reflecting your thoughts of, he doesn't like me. Oh, I'm not a, I'm not the normal girl he likes. He likes really skinny girls. He's got all those girls around him at work and oh, he's probably not even interested in me. We've been friends for so long. Well, how would this even work? Whatever you're thinking, stop that. See you and him together as boyfriend, girlfriend. My friends are not real friends. They just use me for money. Well, crazy boy, 455, why are you letting that happen? Why are you saying your friends aren't real friends? That's got to do with your thoughts about you, darling, that you get used. Oh, God, there's someone drilling outside. Hang on, guys, let me just close this door. Wait a second. Can you hear that? Wait a second. Wait a second. My neighbour's downstairs going crazy with the drill. Sorry, guys, I hope you didn't hear that. Um... Can we just use affirmations to help live in the end or how do you know you're doing it correctly? Because you feel content, you feel at peace, you feel a sense of knowing, you don't freak out, you feel it's done. You can just use affirmations if you like or visualise, whatever. Can you use law of assumption to get someone out of your life or harm? <sighs> Guys, law of assumption is not a thing to use. It is literally how your brain works. Anyone who's telling you it's a new technique or how to use law of assumption is literally the world's biggest fuckwit. And anyone on here who's talking about it in that way, I want you to press not interested in you for you page because they are literally so fucking dumb, it makes my head hurt. Law of assumption is simply the law. It's how your subconscious brain works. So if you try and send out thoughts of harm to another person, literally it will be thought reflection. This is all law of assumption is, thought reflection. And what does reflection do? If you look in a mirror and you look at yourself, oh, thanks for the crane, Ashley, darling. I love my cranes. If you look in the mirror and you get a reflection back, what are you getting? The exact same thing back to you. There's no difference. It's exactly the same. That's a mirror reflection, thought reflection works the same. So if you send out harmful thoughts to others, what you'll get back is harm towards you. People call it karma. It's simply thought reflection. Karma is a more religious aspect to this. If you send out harmful thoughts, good luck not being harmed yourself. Don't do that. It's called the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have done unto you. Would you like whatever for harmful thoughts you're thinking about someone else to happen to you? I wouldn't recommend it. How can I affirm to make the cheer team? I love being in the cheer team. Oh, we just did this great cheer that I learned. I led the whole cheer squad, blah, blah, blah. Imagine telling a friend that you got in. Imagine telling people how fun it is. Imagine the things you would do when you're in the cheer squad. Mm-hmm. Laws, what should I affirm to get respect from everyone? I am so respected. Everyone admires me. Everyone listens to everything I say. Everyone always puts me up on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. Is it okay to only do the whisper method for SP? It's okay. But what are you doing about you? You're doing your self-concept because if you're just doing whisper, whisper, whisper SP all fucking day, it won't help you. But go ahead. But are you working on your self-concept that caused the issue in the first place? Um, Laws, a couple of weeks ago, I asked you for affirmations for a job and I got it. Oh, wonderful fitness to Jen. Wonderful, darling. Congratulations. What's a good way for us to feel chosen? Well, I'd love to know that too, darling, because that's my biggest fucking problem. Look, feeling chosen normally comes from a feeling of not good enough. You've got to think what's underneath the not feeling chosen. Why don't I think I will be chosen above other people? Oh, I know, because I feel defective or worthless or not enough or I've got something I'm holding that I'm sh in shame about that I don't reveal to others therefore I feel not enough and therefore I feel out of all the people in the world I will never be picked there's always going to be someone prettier than me more successful than me more beautiful than me with a better body than me better than me that's where it's coming from 
So you've really got to go deep, darling, and think, where am I getting that from? Who in my childhood made me feel not enough? And it can be from a protective thing. I was told to keep a lot of secrets about myself when I was a child, so no one would think differently of me and judge me and bully me. But doing that made me feel defective, that there was something wrong with me that I couldn't tell people about. And therefore, I always assume when someone would find out this information, they wouldn't want me because there's something wrong with me. See how it's all connected? And then I would assume that if I ever got in a love situation or work situation, that out of all the people, I would be not chosen because there's something wrong with me. It all goes back to the core belief that started it all. What's the core belief that started all, darling? And then start affirming against that. I am so beautiful. I am so unique. I was made special. What makes me unique makes me special. There's no girl in the whole world like me and that's why I was made the way I was. No one compares to me because there's only one of me. Because I am so unique. So therefore I will be chosen because there's literally no girl like me. If you say those things. I really need to say those. Just done one-on-one -on -one coaching with Create Your Future and just want to say how I appreciate your lives. Oh, did you darling, who did you do it with? How can I manifest an even skin tone? My skin tone's so even. My complexion is perfection. So those things, darling. Thank you so much, Liz. Okay, good. Okay, congrats on the job. Want a specific job too? Advice, please. Just imagine you have that specific job. I love working at Bunnings. I love working at Google. Mm -hmm. Can I get my SP to come to my school? John loves being at my school. He got into my school so easily. We love hanging out together at my school, him and I. Mm -hmm. Whatever his name is. I don't understand how to work on self-concept before manifesting a beautiful love with my boyfriend. I don't understand how to work on self-concept before manifesting a beautiful love life with my boyfriend. Darling, sit down for 20 minutes and write down all your fucking thinking. What are you thinking? You'll see in that your thoughts about your SP, your thoughts about relationships in general, your thoughts about you that are shit. And you'll think, oh my God, why am I thinking things don't work out for me? Why am I thinking my boyfriend might cheat? Why am I thinking I'm not pretty enough? Oh shit, this is my self-concept. I'm not beautiful. I'm not chosen. I'm not lovable. Things won't work out for me. I have to keep affirming because I'm afraid he's going to leave me. I'm not enough for him. He looks at other girls. What are your thoughts? That's your self-concept, darling. Please go to the Facebook group and watch number 25 if you're lost about this because some of you don't even understand what I'm talking about. Your self-concept is what do you think of you? I'm not enough. I'm ugly. No one loves me. What do you think about things in general, like relationships? Relationships never work out for me. Life never works out for me. I always do things wrong. I constantly beat myself up because I can never do anything right. What do you think about your partner or about love or about that person? He doesn't love me. He's looking at other girls. I'm not pretty enough for him. He likes skinny girls and I'm too curvy. La, la, la. He's a player. Da, da, da. What is your concept of yourself, others, and situations? That's self-concept. Write down all these shitty thoughts you normally have and affirm the complete fucking opposite of everything you're thinking. That's shit. I'm depressed and I was diagnosed with it. Well, okay, darling, we'll stop thinking you are. Depression can be overcome by working on your mind. It's all your mind, darling. Okay? I was depressed for so many years. Catatonically sometimes. I'm not anymore. Affirm, affirm, affirm against that shit. I'm affirming for my SP to contact me, but I'm not getting results. Well, probably because you're looking for results. Where are they? Why haven't they texting me yet? Why is this working? Why is this taking so long? Are you doing that? You're player one in this matrix. Yes, guys. You're the only one running this, guys. Is it progress if I still think I'm ugly working on it, but it wasn't, but I wasn't as upset about it seeing photos? Yes, darling. If you're feeling better looking at photos and that's one of your terrible self-concepts that I'm ugly... And you're feeling a bit better when you look at photos? It's progress, absolutely. I was diagnosed with depression. Self-concept was the only thing that worked. Exactly. Difference between affirmations and manifestations. Manifestations is what happens in the 3D when it arrives, the thing you want. Affirming is simply thinking, I am loved, I am wanted. He loves me so much. It's a thought. Mm -hmm. Broke contact with SP and he didn't respond. I need advice. Well, depressed gummy bear. First of all, you still haven't changed your username, which is annoying. Secondly, don't freak out. Okay? So it's showing you your old thoughts. Like what happened to me yesterday when someone decided not to turn up to my birthday and I felt kind of like put off by them. Like, you didn't even turn up to my birthday? What's wrong with you? And then I thought, oh. And he was just on the phone with endless excuses as to why he didn't come. 
And I thought, oh, I, I, all these excuses are, you are not chosen. I chose this over you, that over you. I am not chosen. What are you thinking currently about him that's still running the show? Like, he doesn't love me. I have to pursue this. He's not going to call me. I'm more in love with him than he is with me. I'm not enough. He doesn't even love me anymore. What are your thoughts? It's just showing you what you're still thinking. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks, darling. Well, it was a week. Oh, it was a week ago now. <laughs> How do I stop caring about time whilst equally manifesting quickly? Well, why you what look, see, there's a that's like a tautology, that question. Like, why are you talking about you need it quickly, but you're not worried about the time? So you're clearly worried about the time if you want it quickly. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're kind of being a hypocrite in the question. How do I want to do it quickly, but not worry about the time? Well, isn't quickly to do with time? So why do you need it so quickly is what I would ask you. And I would assume because you're freaking out about what might happen if it doesn't happen quickly. Which shows me you're in desperate need of energy and you're not stepping in the state of I have it already. Which is completely what you should be doing when manifesting a thing. Or a person. Or a situation. So I can tell you all you like about don't worry about the time. But you're clearly worried about the time. Which is why you asked the question and said the word quickly. Go on. You just called us out. <laughs> Law of Assumption has built my confidence. Good, darling. Oh, my God, I got moving with my SP. He's so in love with me now and keeps texting me. Oh, life is a simulation 777. Hooray. Oh, darling, wonderful. I want it fast because I'm not going to live forever. Thought process. Well, say that, darling, if you want to, but... Mm -hmm. I know people can't manifest in our reality, but wouldn't we still reflect their thoughts of us? Yes, in their reality, not in yours. Thanks, babes only. What did you send me? Thanks so much. Uh, yeah, over in the reality, you're doing what they're making you do. But it doesn't matter. You said fairy bread. <laughs> I've never seen fairy bread before on the fry, on the gifts. How cute. I appreciate you. Oh, thanks, Nelson, Maddie. I don't. It's just a fact of life. What's a fact of life? That you're depressed? Oh, fuck. What are you doing here, darling? I want it fast because I'm not going to live forever. Oh, look, I don't know where you're getting your depressing thoughts. Oh, I'm not going to live forever. There are just facts in life, like not living for fucking ever. So give me some tips. Jesus, darling, just go jump off a cliff now, why don't you? Look, if you're thinking of the facts of life, um, you're fucked. <laughs> You've got to live in your head a bit more and understand that you create everything. You're also going to create probably having a fucking short life with shitty thoughts like that. Oh, they're just facts of life. Ignore the facts is what Neville says. You created the facts. If you think life is short and um, you die eventually and all this fucking depressing shit that's going on in your brain, darling, well, something's probably going to happen to you where you don't live forever. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm not joking. That's what happens. Some manifest, people manifest something horrible happening to them because they spend their whole life going, oh, well, I probably won't have a long life. I'm probably one of those people who dies at 25 and then they do. There's people who've done that because they have depressing thoughts about life is short. Well, it will be for you if you keep fucking saying that. You make the rules, darling. You're making the rules that I need things fast because I, you won't live forever. Why are you doing that? Where are you getting this depressing shit from? What happened in your childhood where you're so fucking in this, like, facts world? I was just talking about things not manifesting in time. Well, what's in time? Who's determining the time? You are. So if it's not manifesting in time, it's your fucking fault. Guys, aren't you getting this? No one's doing it for you. Okay, if things aren't turning up in time, it's because you haven't changed your mind enough yet. You're manifesting it. If it's not turning up in the time that you want, you're doing something wrong, which is you're probably clinging on to the old story. You're not affirming enough. You haven't changed your subconscious yet. It hasn't formed a belief in your mind. It's you, you, you. So if you're getting annoyed at the reality and the facts of life, well, guess what? You create the reality and the facts of life. It's like yelling at yourself. It's divine timing, or so I'm told. No, there's no such fucking thing as divine timing, darling. You're divine. Nothing outside of you is determining shit. And anyone who says divine timing is a fucking idiot because they're not understanding that you're divine. You are all gods. Do you not realize Jesus Christ is in you? Test yourself and see. You are all divine. Therefore, you decide the fucking timing. And what you're saying with your thinking right now is, this takes a long time. I'm going to fucking die one day and I need this to hurry up. And while you're thinking all that shit, darling, fuck all is going to happen for you. 
The rest of us just sit back and let it happen and go, oh, well, I'm getting my brain sorted. So this is going to happen any day now. And you're going, how long is this going to take? I oh, know you don't live forever. And I, you know, like I'm just holding on to all this shit from childhood that my parents gave me that's really fucking depressing about the facts of life. And I'm just going to think this way for the rest of my life because apparently never, nothing ever works out for me and I'm in a real fucking hurry. Assess your thoughts, darling, because they're fucking depressing. Got it? You've got to think, where are you getting all this shit from? Did your parents say things to you like, oh, well, better hurry up because nothing lasts forever or whatever the fuck your parents said. Money doesn't grow on trees or, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what shit did they say to you? Put it in your brain. It's fucked. Get rid of it. Wait, divine timing isn't real? No, guys, you're divine. You're deciding the timing. Please stop listening to these LOA morons who are saying to you that something outside of you, whether it's universe or God or whatever, is deciding. What is it that's deciding? Tell me. If it's God, well, God is in you. So isn't that you? Please stop listening to these fuckwits talk about divine timing. You're divine. It says it over and fucking over in the Bible, and people are so fucking thick they haven't realised it. Oh, but I thought God was outside of me. Yes, but he's also in you. Read it again and again and again until you get it. I know you've been brainwashed by religions telling you it's outside of you, so you go into the church and sit in a pew and give them money because they feel... If they realised that if you realised it was you all along, you wouldn't need to go to church or give them money or sit in the pew or rely on them. But use your critical thinking, guys. Oh, yeah, it says the whole way through, I'm divine. It says the whole way through, I'm God. So aren't I God? Oh, yeah, why am I listening to other people who talk about divine timing or God being outside of me or the universe deciding? They're fucking idiots. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is self-concept the same as the story you tell yourself? Yes, it's a story you tell yourself about you, other people, and situations. It's exactly what it is. I'm not enough. He doesn't love me. Things never work out for me. The story. What's the old story? It's normally really shit. Loz, how come the live notifications don't come up for TikTok? Oh, I have no idea, darling. TikTok's so fucking unreliable. It's so annoying. 239 people here. Can you unconsciously manifest an X and that would affect my SP manifestation? You mean an old ex turning up? No, no, it doesn't affect it, guys. I've had exes come back when I'm with someone else. Don't worry about it. Sometimes it just gives you a self-concept bit more of a boost because you think, oh, this is working. Um, can you actually change your appearance with your thoughts? Yes, guys, I've turned my hair wavy. I've turned my complexion more youthful. Absolutely. I'm not even religious, lol. Where are you getting all this depressing shit from, darling? Can you name any car for edit, please? What are you talking about? Abandonment issues, question mark? What about them, darling? Get rid of them. Affirm against them. Guys, we're doing a, a challenge in the Facebook group at the moment called Obliterate the Old You. And what we're doing in that challenge, and I'm actually going to turn it into a 14-day challenge because seven days isn't long enough. We're putting in the chat box suggestions for abandonment issues, affirmations. I'm not good enough, affirmations. Um, feeling unloved, affirmations. And mistrust affirmations and people are going to choose some that really core to their stuff and add them to their repertoire of affirmations for the next two weeks and see how they feel in themselves if they've got severe abandonment issues etc so go to the facebook group and read those suggestions for abandonment issues in that thread it's called the obliterate your it says old self new self it's a challenge okay we do challenges every week guys in the facebook group and you can watch every single one of these lives back it's taking me a month at the moment to add these, but there's over 200 lives in there at the moment, and I go live every Friday. And you can ask questions in the Q&A forum, not on the main page. That's just for success stories and encouraging posts, okay, and the challenges. So please do, do look at the abandonment um, affirmations there like, I am too important to lose. No one would dare lose me. I'm too special to them. Who would dare leave me? Look at how amazing I am. Everyone who loves me stays in my life. Mm hmm um, I couldn't get into the Facebook group. What do you mean you couldn't get in? Did you go to the page by accident, not the group? I approve everyone, darling. So if you haven't been approved yet, just because I haven't seen your... Did you just do it just then? You've got to say, you saw me on TikTok, da, 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 don't not answer the questions because I'll just think you're a spammer and I'll just delete you. Um, try it again, darling. Tell me something new. What are you talking about? Is it okay to tell someone about your manifestation? I wouldn't, darling. They'll just reflect back your shitty thinking, but go ahead if you want to. Um, I'm new. How do you recommend affirmations? It's new thinking, darling. I am this, I am that. You've got to do them as much as you think the old thoughts. You're replacing old thoughts with new thoughts. It's all affirming is. Affirmations not being skinny enough for SP was picked on by my for my body as a little girl by mum and nan. Okay, so it's not that you're not skinny enough for the SP. You've literally 
manifested an SP into your life who's got the same thoughts about you not being good enough and being defective in some way as your mum and nan did. So you've literally chosen a man who's going to continually pick on you and bully you and make you feel not good enough because that's your belief about you. And until such time as you stop feeling that about yourself, that you're not skinny enough, he will continue to reflect that. As soon as you step in the state of, my body is perfect, just the way it is. I was wonderfully made. I am so beautiful and voluptuous. Every man in my life loves how curvy I am. They crave my body day and night. My body is so beautiful to them and so beautiful to me. Everyone loves my body. I love my body. Should you start affirming shit like that, darling? Nothing's going to change because you haven't got rid of that old shit from childhood, which is literally why you're attracted someone in in the first place who is literally criticizing you or making you feel shit about yourself based on your old beliefs from childhood. Guys, you'll manifest people in every time who literally reflect your thinking about you. If your parents cheated, you'll manifest a player or a cheat. If people abandon you in your childhood, you'll pick people who will abandon you. If you feel not chosen, you will find someone who will criticize you and not choose you, like you're doing right now. Have we manifested our childhood as a kid? No, darling, no one manifests their childhood. They don't have any subconscious thought. 232 viewers. Ah! What's your thoughts on COVID? Until such time as everyone stops talking about it, it won't go away anytime soon. We're all so focused on it, and it's just going to stick around until we stop talking about it, ruminating about it, being fearful about it. It'll go away like all the other SARS. But we're talking about this SARS, aren't we? We're obsessed with it. So we're keeping it in all our realities. Why is new thinking so easy for me? That's wonderful. Hi, Crystal. Can I have a career and love reading? Darling, look at the name of my account, for fuck's sake. I don't do readings. I'm not a psychic. Do I look like I've got a salt lamp behind me and a turban on my head? I look like a nut. We talk about manifesting here. But let me give you the tip. Can you, If you want career and love reading, I can tell right there that you feel like your career isn't going the way you want and your love life isn't going the way you want. So you're literally manifesting that with your fearful thoughts and needing to go to a psychic and ask the question. So your career and love life isn't going anywhere anytime soon because of your fearful thoughts that you have to go to a psychic on a TikTok and ask the question about it. Which means you're manifesting not good things in career and love because you're relying on other people outside of you to decide what happens with that. Can you explain? Everything has its own appointed hour. The timing thing confuses me. Look, guys. Everything does. If you think about life in this way, this way Neville describes it. Think about gestation period for different animals. A human is nine months to gestate a baby. An elephant is two years. They hold on to that baby in their womb until they drop the baby. A gazelle, say, in, in Africa, they'll all drop their babies at the same time. Now, one of them could have had the baby gestating for a month and another gazelle could have the baby gestating, I think, for a few weeks and they'll all drop, it's called, their babies all at the same time. Now, the reason they do that is so that it's less likely that some of them get killed by lions. So if there's more babies all at once... They are deciding the timing. The gazelles are actually deciding the timing of their own birth. And they're all doing it at once, right? If there's an appointed hour there with gazelles and they're all choosing it, right? They're manifesting the birth of their child. An elephant doesn't do things like that. It just is stuck with the two years. A, a, a baby in a womb of a human is kind of there for nine months, whether it comes early or late, Okay. We decide the timing. If we were like gazelles, we could drop our babies way earlier, <laughs> okay? What I'm saying is, is that everything's got its own timing and you can't possibly know the timing. The only way you can really change the timing is to convince your subconscious mind that whatever it is you want is true already. But you actually don't know when that's happened. You don't know when the belief has been formed in your mind. So actually, it's beyond your control, but you can try and control it by affirming a lot, living the end a lot, saying I am this, I am that, and changing your self-concept. But that's the only thing you control. Other than that, it takes as long as it takes for someone to reflect the thought back, for people to move in your reality to make it so, for the gazelle to be dropped. It just takes as long as it takes. Can you, um, why is there a person in my life who is so reacting to the 3D? Any thoughts? Why is there that person in my life who is so reacting to the 3D? 
Well, don't worry about them, darling. Who cares what they're doing? What is your morning routine? I try and affirm before I get out of bed. I try and live in the end in my mind before I get out of bed. And then I look at my phone. I don't look at my phone before I've affirmed for myself. Darby, thank you so much, darling, for the roses. So pretty. Oh, thank you. Um, any thoughts on that parent that is so reacting to 3D? Yeah, guys, if you've got parents who are reacting to 3D, who cares what the fuck they're doing? Stop letting them affect you. Say, whatever my parent does doesn't affect me in my 3D reality. I run this shit. And change them in your mind to the kind of parent you want them to be. Um, is it okay that while manifesting you get negative thoughts? We all do, guys. We're not Pollyanna. Don't worry about it. Um, what's your evening routine similar to morning? I try and affirm going to sleep whilst drifting off to sleep. I forget sometimes. And I also put the sleep affirmations on at night now. But I did turn them off in the middle of the night last night, about two in the morning when I woke up. Um, best way to manifest a job. Imagine you have it already, darling. Oh, guys, this is just frozen. What's happened? Oh. Oh, no. This happens sometimes. Sorry, guys. My, my chat's just frozen. I'm going to go anyway. Um, so, guys, please do follow me if you don't follow me already. I go live twice daily. Click the get all notifications bell. And then also go and watch these lives back in Subconscious Laws, the Facebook group. The link's in my bio. And we have a 14-day get rid of your old self challenge going at the moment. Come and join us. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'm sorry. I can't actually see any more chat because the, the chat's frozen. I'll see you soon. All right, guys. Bye. See ya. Bye, guys. Where would this chat end? Ah. It's moving all of a sudden now it stopped.